Hello everyone, this is Mario Oblivion 13 here, off with a new tutorial on Demol, which is my favorite Dreamcast emulator to use. Okay, first of all, you want to download this version right here. Should be the latest one if I'm correct, which I already have it downloaded. It is right over here. So you just want to right well let's see here you just want to right click and say show in folder which should be here. Let's see here where where did I put that thing? Oh well. Let's see here. Where did I put that sucker? Ah. Oh, I'll just say go to f show in folder and it shows up like this. Then you want to extract the files and put them into a folder. For this part, I am going to use, I already, okay, I already put the demo in one folder, but this one right here would be a tutorial thing, so I am going to put it in a separate folder. Okay, then you want to click OK. Give it a moment. Then it should be right in here. See? This is what demo looks like when you save it. I mean, like, when, once it's saved on your PC after extracting it. It'll look like this. Beforehand, it looks like this. See? If you don't extract it, it would look like this. So, since I got it saved, only thing you have to do is to double click on this. And more things shows up. See folders and stuff? That shows up. Then you want to click OK on this message that shows up. This shows up. I highly recommend keeping this all on the default thing, but keeping this one under image, which is like for ISO files, uh, CDI files, you get the idea. Okay, now then, we're going to go, see, this part right here is the ROMs and BIOS pads. Well, I'll usually use this path for a, for the BIOS because I would make up a separate folder and putting them onto the ROMs as a separate folder. So let's see here, I put my... BIOS into my desktop, which should be right here on the Dreamcast BIOS. So you just want to click OK on that folder. Don't need to worry about these two. These two will be included into the thing. Into the BIOS, I mean. I mean, not into the BIOS, but into the emulator itself. OK, so you want to click OK. There you go. It's there. Then you want to click on OK. And there you go. Then now then, you just want to configure your controls. So for right now, I am going to use my joystick, which I have with me. And I am going to program it. Like that, see? Okay, up is going to be up on the on the analog stick, like that, down, left, right, A, B, X, and Y, triggers, and the start button, like that, and other analog stick, Okay, 
I'm not worried about the rest, but for right now, it should be very easy from there. Okay, then you want to click OK. Alright. And the BIOS will be right over here. See? These are the BIOSes. Everything should be fine. And I'm not going to tell you where or how to get the BIOS. I will leave that all up to you. I'm sorry if I can't exactly give you the exact link to the BIOS. It's just that you know how things are. BIOS is a copyrighted software by Sega. So yeah, I can't do that. All right, everything should be good. Then you just want to go to config and to go to GD-ROM. And here's a GD-ROM, which is like your place to put your ISO file at. Uh, why does that always happen? Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Sorry about that. It seems that it sometimes does that due to it's new. You know what I mean, on my PC new. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I forgot to put it on my desktop. Okay, it should be under into my game state, and here you go. And here's what a CDI, CDI file looks like. Yeah, I now use Demion tools, that's why it looks like that. So you just want to double click it, and see, it's there. And so you want to go to OK. And then you want to go to Run Dreamcast. Oh yeah, I forgot about the sound plug and I need to do that. It seems to be fine. Oh yeah, in my graphics I need to configure. Um, I'll worry about that at some other point. And everything seems to be good. Oh uh, yeah, I must have forgot about those. There you go. And you would see a little window pop up right over here. This is the VMU. All right. I see this game I am going to test out is called Shenmue. And sorry if you all can't hear anything. It's just that this video recorder I am using doesn't exactly do sounds from inside, you know, what I mean, like fraps do all the time. Yeah, I know about that. And... Okay, see? The VMU is saying, don't remove. And so please do not X this one out. That's important. Keep it on. All right, and here we go. Time for a test run. Yeah. Yeah, baby, there's Shenmue. I love this game. And, and sorry for the graphics. I was meaning to fix that plugin by configuring it, but you get the idea on how this is done. And no, I will not put up links to the BIOS nor the game itself. But for right now, this is a tutorial and 
And that is it. This is Mario Oblivion 13 signing out. Let's see, how do I suppose it? What was the high key to this one? Oh, F2. Okay. It is.